Does your thawed breast milk have an acidic, metallic, soapy, fishy, or just overall disgusting taste and smell? You're not alone. This is completely normal. I'm gonna tell you why this occurs, how to tell if your milk's actually gone bad, what to do if your baby's not drinking the milk, and how to avoid this in the future. So first of all, to tell if the milk's actually gone bad or not, because the first thing we as humans notice is a bad taste or smell is a sign of something gone bad. And I'm making this video because I tasted my newborn's thawed breast milk and I almost threw up. It literally tasted like a battery. So I looked it up online and I put together this video from a bunch of research that I found. A general rule of thumb to know if the milk has gone bad is to make sure that fresh milk sits out on the counter no longer than four hours or in the fridge for no longer than four days. If you have thawed milk, it can only sit on the counter for one to two hours or in the refrigerator for up to one day. If you've gone past those points, you probably want to discard the milk. The other thing to consider is how to store the milk. You can't store the milk in just any bottle or Ziploc bag. You want to get the bags and bottles specifically meant for storing breast milk safely. The reason that thawed milk takes on a different flavor than fresh milk is because of a chemical known as La Paz. And basically what this chemical does is it breaks down the fats in milk and makes it easier for your baby to digest the milk. What occurs when the milk is frozen is that this chemical sits in the milk and it breaks down the fat before the baby ingests it and it changes the overall taste and smell of the milk. What you can do if your baby refuses to drink this milk that you've already spent so much time storing, freezing, and defrosting is you can donate it. Um, some babies won't mind the smell or taste of a milk that's taken on one of these flavors, which seems odd, but is true. Um, you could also use it for bath because it is really good for their skin if you don't want to donate it. Some things that you can do to avoid this happening is you can freeze your milk right away after it's pumped or after it's put in a haka to avoid it sitting in the refrigerator where the La Paz will break down those fats. Before you add any extra work for yourself, just try freezing the milk right away. If you've already been freezing the milk right after it's been pumped and not storing it in the refrigerator on the counter, then you're gonna need to start heating or scolding the milk. You don't wanna bring it to a boil, but by heating the milk before it's frozen, you will break down this chemical and eliminate it from the milk altogether. You cannot heat or scold the milk after it's been thawed and remove the flavor if that chemical process has already occurred. It needs to be done prior to freezing and storing the milk. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and subscribe to my channel for more mom and baby tips and videos.